In our quadratic functions course, we must learn how to graph a parabola. The next step is how to find the roots, the x-intercepts, also known as the zeros. In example one, we have two zeros, and we are going to use the quadratic formula to find them. To find the x-intercepts of our parabola, we're using the formula negative b plus or minus the square root of delta over 2a. This is our quadratic formula. Our b is negative 3, so negative of b is negative of negative 3. Our delta was 17, so we put 17 inside the radical. And our a is 2, so the bottom is 2 times 2. The negative of negative 3 is positive 3. 2 times 2 is 4. And the square root of 17 is 4.12. At this point, we have split our formula in two. The plus or minus makes us solve it if we have a plus and solve it if we have a minus. With the plus, 3 plus 4.12 divided by 4 is 1.78. With the minus, 3 minus 4.12 divided by 4 is negative 0 0.28. These are our x-intercepts and we will put them in the table right here. 1.78 negative 0 0.280. Zero. And let's graph these. 1.780 is about here. And negative 0 0.280 is about here. We have shown the zeros of our parabola. All that's left is for us to draw our parabola. Make sure that you draw this neatly with an actual curve and not a straight line because the drawing will be worth marks on your exam. This is what example one looks like after we have found our two zeros. In example two, there are two zeros and we are going to use the quadratic formula to find them. To find our zeros, also known as our x-intercepts and our roots, we need the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of delta over 2a. It is very useful if you already know what your delta is before you use this formula, because the complicated expression inside this radical is a place where people can easily make mistakes, especially sign errors. Let's fill it in. Our b is 5, so negative b is negative 5. Our delta is 9. a is negative 2, so 2a is 2 times negative 2. The square root of 9 is 3, so we have negative 5 plus or minus 3 as our numerator. And 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. It's time for us to split our quadratic formula. Negative 5 plus 3 is equal to negative 2. Negative 5 minus 3 is equal to negative 8. Negative 2 divided by negative 4 is positive 1 half, and negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2. Our x-intercepts are 1 half 0 and 2 0. Let's put them on the graph. 1 half 0 is right here, and 2 0 is right here. This is how you find the zeros of your parabola. 
Let's draw our curve. Make sure that you draw a parabola with curved lines and not straight lines, because the drawing is usually worth marks. This is what example two looks like after we have found our two roots. In example 3, there is no need to use the quadratic formula because example 3 has no zeros. In example 4, there is no need to use the quadratic formula because example 4 has only one zero and it is also the vertex, so we have already found it. Be sure to watch the next video in the process of graphing a parabola, finding some extra points.